I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, a judge's son is charged with DUI after allegedly speeding past the courthouse. Bryce Steelman is the son of Hamilton County Criminal Court Judge Barry Steelman. A Tennessee Highway Patrol trooper stopped the 21-year-old on Sunday. Steelman admitted to drinking two or three beers, and the deputy found two open bottles of Jack Daniels whiskey. He's been released from jail on bond and is set to appear in court May 18th. A Saudi Daisy man is accused of raping a girl five times. Authorities say the rapes happened last year. In two instances, the girl was under the age of 13. Now 26-year-old Ricky Minor has been booked into the Hamilton County Jail. EPB plans to discount high-speed internet for low-income families. It's going to make 100 megabit per second speeds available for about $27 a month. That's less than half of the current rate. The program is offered to homes where a student qualifies for free or reduced-price lunches. 21,000 students in the county are eligible. EPB says the lower price is based on how much it actually costs to provide the service. The number of murders in Tennessee went up by nearly 10% last year. The TBI says 375 homicides were reported across the state in 2014. The overwhelming number of victims were killed at home. Tennessee has already been named the most dangerous state by the FBI. We have the highest violent crime rate in the nation. But the TBI has not explained why the number of murders is rising. Ground is broken for a new shopping center in Fort Oglethorpe. Huckleberry Place is expected to open in September near Walmart. It will include a Buffalo Wild Wings, Aspen Dental, and a mattress firm. The developer says more shops and restaurants may be announced this year. The $3.5 million center is expected to create 75 jobs. Chattanooga has been ranked as one of the best cities in America to start a business. The scenic city ranks fourth for friendliness and support for startup ventures, and we rank second for access to resources such as financing, office space, and employees. The study comes from personal finance network WalletHub. The man who shot his wife and then killed himself at an Udawa shopping center Sunday had a violent history. Before she stepped into the parking lot to speak to her husband, 24-year-old Holly Anderson told co-workers to come and get her if she wasn't back in five minutes, but she never made it back. 38-year-old Jeffrey Held shot her twice in the legs and then shot himself in the head. Police say the two were in the middle of a divorce. Held had previously been charged with domestic assault. He's also pleaded guilty to DUI twice and has been charged with fleeing from police during a traffic stop. Anderson is in stable condition at Erlanger Hospital. A man who fell 40 feet inside Parkway Towers has died. 17-year-old Asher Mendoza fell inside the abandoned building in 2005. He was in a coma for weeks. His back and neck were broken, his legs didn't work, and he had serious brain injuries. He died April 21st, almost 10 years after the fall. The trial has started for an aspiring model accused of killing a gas station clerk in Dalton. Sky Mims is charged in the murder of 37-year-old Diaby Chudari in 2014. When investigators found him stabbed to death, they also spotted a cell phone the 21-year-old woman allegedly left behind. And when police found Mims in a house, they say she was naked and alone, begging them to end her life. They also found a knife with the victim's blood and a stack of lottery tickets from the store. Prosecutors say Mims became fixated on winning the Georgia Lottery's $500 a week for life game. But Mims' attorney maintains that her client is innocent and that it's all a case of mistaken identity. Chattanooga police have charged a homeless man in a string of eight burglaries. 59-year-old Terry Highfield is accused of robbing two hair salons, a tropical fish store, and a muffler shop, among other stores. Finally, Gordon Lee wrestling coach Brent Raby is resigning. His teams have won three state titles in the last five years. He's applied to teach at Catoosa County, where his children go to school. He says he wants to spend more time with his family. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 70 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 52. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesrepress.com.